Assalamu alaikum everybody and hello. Welcome back to the Good Life channel vlog. Basically today I wanted to show you how to make artisan bread. So as so long as you're sitting at home today or I'm just chilling, this bread is so easy to make and it will cost you pennies. Basically in there is three cups of all-purpose flour or you can use bread flour, it's up to you. And only one third of a teaspoon of yeast, that's right. And then the rest of it is hot water, one and a half cups ratio. And then it should be like a shaggy dough. This is a shaggy dough now. And then after that, all you've got to do is get some cling film. Just roughly cover it up with the cling film. Right. And just leave it on your tabletop counter. Doesn't even have to be warm. Leave it for three hours. Don't touch it. And then when you look at it, it will look like, oh my gosh, this recipe has gone so wrong. I did exactly what she said. That's the right thing. It will come up all wet and bubbly. So after that bit, then I'll tell you what to do next. So you've got to wait three hours now after this. And then we'll get back to the next bit of the recipe. Say this supplication every morning and every evening. Oh Allah, I seek your protection from anxiety and grief. And I seek your protection from inability and laziness. I seek your protection from being overwhelmed by debt and being overpowered by men and people. So I just wanted to share this with you because I thought this was a really good hadith to share, especially in this time and day and age of, you know, everyone's struggling and things. And if you do find yourself with lots of worries and problems, whether it's your family problems or work problems, or somebody who's giving you a hard time somewhere else, and if you find yourself in debt, can't pay your bills on time, this dua, this, this supplication, I think, will be beneficial to everyone just to make this dua. Okay, so I hope that benefits you. And like I said now, this is half an hour. And then we'll come back to it. Now, as you can see, I'm flouring my surface. You'll need about two, two tablespoons really to do this. And you're just going to get your dough and just drop it out. You're just going to use your... Scrape is the best thing because it is a, a wet dough and basically the only reason why you're putting the flour down is so that you can manage it. So basically this is all you're doing. You don't need to knead it or do anything like that to it because that's why it's quite a forgiving dough and it actually tastes uh, once you've made it. If you like sourdough, you'll enjoy this dough. Next you'll need a bowl and parchment paper. I always scrunch mine up. It just makes life easier. All you've got to do is just open it out like that. Oops, my fingers are going to go on. And then you just pick it up, see, and put it in. You just pick it up and put it inside this bowl. Okay? And that's all you're going to do to it now for another half an hour. In half an hour's time, what you're going to do, cover it as well. I'm just using the same cling film that I had before because it's the same dough. Um, cover it up. And then, like, say 10 minutes before your third, half an hour's up, put your oven on to a 420 degree oven. So basically that's the high setting of your oven because once you put the dough in there, the oven should be really, really hot. And um, you can put your dutchie pan into the oven as well uh, to make it piping hot as well. But what I will do is I'm just going to, because my oven's quite quick at getting hot. So I'll put it in for 10 minutes, but I won't necessarily put the pan in as well because uh, like I said, my, my oven gets hot really quickly. Because like if you use a cast iron dutchie, it's going to take time to heat the pan up itself. Okay, so we've gone to this stage now, so it has gone a bit puffy again with all these bubbles. I don't know if you can see that, the bubbles. Yep, so this is how we want it. So like I said, I don't have a dutchie pot, so this one is thinner, so I don't really put it in my oven for 10 minutes beforehand, because this will heat up straight away. And then all you do, you just hold the paper up, 
and that and just put it in here like this and now this is all fine and then all you do I'm using a very old lid because this is what I used to make my breads with I just close it up press it down and then this is going to make the steam let's put that in the oven this is going to make the steam and the bread rise inshallah so that's all that's left now so that's like I said 450 or the top mark on your oven and you leave it in there for 30 minutes with the lid on and then you'll take the lid off and be careful because everything's going to be piping hot when you take it out and the lid will be hot as well um, all you need to do then is um, put it back in the oven without the lid on just for another 10 minutes I'd say but really it depends on you because if you like your crust to be really crusty go for 15 minutes and um, if you feel uh, you want to flip it over always check the bottom of your bread uh, when you take it out and you can flip it over so the other side gets crusty or you can just leave it like that because I find if you just leave it like that and you don't flip it over um, yes it's very thick crust at the bottom as well as everywhere else especially if you're going to leave it for 15 minutes but I like the crust not to be so thick at the bottom because it, you're going to spend ages you know soaring it um, you know when you when you cut into it inshallah so um, this is this is the bread now so this is all you got to do now is 30 minutes set your alarm and then after that all you need to do 10 minutes with the lid off and then switch it off on a cooling rack and it's really nice just with simple uh, bread and butter I'll show you later when it comes out right this is what it will look like don't worry about the burnt the paper gets a bit burnt that doesn't matter so this is burning hot now but I would like to flip it over so this is what we're going to do now I'm going to change my gloves around only because well, I'm right handed so okay what you do you just flip it out, bismillah, bismillah, okay, right, and take, this, take the paper off now, you don't need it, so that looks beautiful there, see, it's a very nice sound, but now what we have to do is do the top, so you could have left it, actually I will flip it over, bismillah, this is my preferable uh, taste of how to make the bread but really you can leave it on its backside but believe me that's that's for me is crispy enough and then we'll just put it back in the oven for 10 minutes then once it's cooled I didn't show you try making um, the bread you tell me if, you know if you're gonna make it or not and you know it'd be very tasty to eat and this is something that you could do with children as well because there's really not a lot of work in it there's only a little bit of measurement which is very good for kids and then like after three hours you, you know you're just prepping the dough really to go into a mold and then after another half hour put it in the oven for half an hour take you have to do that obviously and the um, flipping it over if you prefer or just leave it on one side 10 minutes later you've got a beautiful artisan bread let me know in the comments if you're going to try the bread out and how it turned out as well so we'll, I'll show you in a moment when it comes out. Okay everybody, it's had time to cool down, it's come out of the oven. Yes, I didn't get to my dome because I flipped it over. But if you want a nice dome shape, then don't flip it over. What I want you to do is just listen to this. Listen to the crust. Proper artisan bread that. Can you see? So what I'm going to do is going to cut it for you now, so you can see inside. Bismillah. Mashallah, well, it's got a lovely crust on. And if you want it crustier, then you make it crustier. Then you keep it in for 15 minutes. But you see, like, oh, it's still hot. But um, let me see. It's got a good crust on it because of all that steam. So you just. Cut it a bit more. There you go. Bismillah. Can you see that? See the bread? That's nice. Now I'll 
try this for you because you can't taste it. And I want you to think about what was in this bread mixture. It was flour, hot water, teaspoon of salt, and one third teaspoon yeast. So there's no sugar in here, no fat and no oil. But yet this bread is delicious. And I'm just going to have a bite into it for you now. Bismillah. Mmm. Oh, nice. It's very nice. And it's just delicious by itself. We couldn't put banana, honey, cream cheese, honey, anything you want. It's really tasty. You can have savoury as well. Oh. Thank you very much for watching and please if you liked it put a thumbs up and subscribe as well and share thank you very much assalamu alaikum